Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another unboxing video for you. And this one comes from Damn Designs. There's their logo. So, as you know, I bought the Wendigo on pre-order. And I got this week or so ago. Well, after they went to, Damn Designs went to Blade Show West, they listed all the knives left over. And I picked up another one, so let's get into it. Again, use the Wendigo. Pretty awesome knife. I'm really liking it. Yeah, let's get this one open. Get rid of the thing. Here's the box. Here's the box that came with the other one. Same as the Wendigo. Sticker on the bottom. This is the Damn Designs Basilisk. So, yeah, I think this one's pretty cool looking. I got the black one again, black handle. But again, you get the microfiber cloth, pretty nice. You get the sticker related to the knife, the Basilisk. The other one had a Wendigo sticker, plus their new. Damn Designs logo sticker, so pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm, I like those. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Put that up there. Like that. Comes in this plastic, which you got cut open. It's sealed. Yeah, I really like the Wendigo, so I'm thinking I like this one even better. If I can get it open. So here it is. Same, basically the same G10, the texturing here and contoured up here. They're not exactly the same. You can see this one has more of a hump back, this one's straighter. But really everything everything appears to be about the same. Same handle thickness. All kinds. Well I tell you the blade blade stock looks thicker, but I don't think so. But anyways, this is the basilisk. Looks pretty wicked from the outside. Let's flip this thing open. Oh I failed it the first time. There we go. Totally my fault. Check that blade out. Same awesome stone wash as the other one. I like it. There's a Damn Designs logo back here someplace. Right here it says 14C 28 inch steel. Same deep carry pocket clip. Oh. Uh, Got this thumb ramp right here, but that's nice. Yeah, this is comfortable. I'm liking that drop point, harpoon style. Drop point blade, flat grind. Yeah. Well, that, that feels thinner behind the edge. Oh yeah. This is a pretty good cutter. It's pretty you know, pretty thick blade stock, but this one feels a lot thinner behind the edge. It's got a higher, higher flat grind than the one to go, obviously, but boy, I bet so, yeah, I'm liking this. Let's look at that tip. Pretty good point on the end there. It's not, it's not super dainty, but it's not thick overly thick nice oh yeah action just just as good on this one oh. but yeah this broke in a little bit this thing is blade might be heavier on that that one tell you the truth We'll weigh them and stuff. 
But um, yeah, this is just a unboxing, first impressions. I didn't have. This was my first damn designs knife, and I liked that so much that when I heard these were up for grabs on the website, I definitely want to grab one. And my son bought the yokai. It's got this harpoon type blade, but it's a tanto. But he got the white scale, so we'll be able to check that one out. White handled one. I kind of wish I got a white handled one, but I do like the black G10 with all the stone wash hardware. Everything matches. The filler clip on the back matches. And that's nice. That's nicely machined. Fits right in there. Backspacer, lanyard hole, pocket clip. Pocket clip. <clears throat> this one looks a little, a little bet right there compared to that one. That might have a little, a little bend. Is there a little dent right there? Hard telling. I'm definitely not going to worry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, deep carry clip. Just like the other one. T8 screws for the clip. T8 pivot. Yeah, this thing. I'm digging this one. So yeah, let me get my calipers. Check the blade stock. They say four millimeters. Um, millimeters don't mean nothing to me. I gotta do it in 0 0.158. I'm not gonna, we might do a comparison when I get, use these after a while. I've used this quite a bit, so I'm gonna carry this, <coughs> use it. Might come back to a comparison. Might do a three-way comparison with um my son's knife. Handle thickness 0 0.545. Now I'm curious, I think it's about the same. 0 0.545 so I just like I like this up here better um yeah I'm not sure exactly which ones I like better feel but I think I'm gonna like this blade better oh, that's a wicked blade you know that thing's sharp um We could cut up a Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog. Test it out. Hey, come on. Who's going to complain about that? That edge on a knife right out of the box. Not me. Yeah. Boy, I dig these. I'm glad I got both of these. And I can't wait to see my son's yokai with that tanto tip and the white white handles. It's gonna be pretty cool looking. He should get it today, but he's at work, so you won't you won't see it until tonight. So sometime this weekend, I'll see it. He'll bring it over. But yeah, just real quick, you know. Blade length on this is 3.8 inches. Cutting edge is 3.65. Handle length is 4.86. Overall length is 8.1. Total weight is approximately 5.5 ounces. Let's use my new scale. Let's weigh her. Okay. 5.6. And add 5.5 approximate. Oh. Boy, this scale, I tell you. Breathe on it and it 5.6 the Wendigo 5.6 these are very similar really the only thing different is the blade blade style that's a stubby tanto blade 
pretty awesome. This is more of a harpoon drop point. Very close. You know, if you want to see a couple size comparisons, if you don't know, up against the Ontario rat number one. The rat one is quite a bit longer. How about the Spider Club Paramilitary 2? Uh, there you go. Spider Club is a little bit longer, but <clears throat> good size references, I, I think. Get the stuff out of the way. Yeah, I'm digging this one. No doubt. Nice G10 backspacer. And I tell you, <clears throat> for 5.6 ounces, you know, a little over 8 inch knife, four, four and three quarter inches long, 4.86 inches long handle. You know, kind of a little tall. They carry good. This one, this one carries excellent. I have no problem carrying this. Goes in and out pocket great. So, pocket clip works awesome. Easy in, easy out. And, yeah. So, you know, five, five and a half ounce knife. A little while ago, I wouldn't have gotten it. Or anything this big but I'm loving them I'm loving these damn design knives and I really want to see my son's white handled one <clears throat> and you know I, I should have bought one just to dye it but I did it but anyways also you know last time I looked everything sold out now they sold out pretty fast I bought this one on pre-order for 45 bucks this one I bought regular price off the website for 59 bucks, you know, so what's what's the difference there? 14 dollars. $14. Man, 59 bucks. I think I think that's a heck of a deal on a knife like this. And the action right out of the box. Got good jimping up here on the flipper tab. I don't know how I failed it the first flick. Because it's hard to fail. But yeah. Great action on these things. Both of them. This thing. Now is this drop shutty. And the detent. Is really early. I mean. That's locked. That's against the detent, so. Real early detent up here. Yeah. Pretty awesome. I'm digging these. They're both cool. I'm liking them. I dig this blade, no doubt. Got a little... You can choke up a little bit on these, but... I... I was doing that when I went to use this one, but I've learned to keep my hand back. Otherwise, comfortable. Man, I just, these are awesome knives. Glad I got them. But yeah, this is just a quick, you know, you know, first impressions unboxing. You can see skeletonized steel liners back down there, both sides of skeletonized, even lock side. Lock up is good, excellent. Absolutely no blade play in this. Neither one of them. Centering in this one, dead center. And you can't ask for more for 59 bucks. 14C, 28 inch steel. I love it. Love the stone wash on these. I'm trying to get it so you can see them. See it? Very low branding. Got a cool logo right there. You can barely make it out on the stone wash. Small 14C 28N right there. And that's it. That is it. Nothing on the pocket clip. Nothing on the pivot. Pivots 
a cool looking. I like that. I like the pivots. But yeah, like I said, just a quick unboxing. I, I can ramble on and on. Um, definitely you'll be seeing more of these knives, both of these. Um, I'll probably do a review. I might do more of a comparison, especially when I get the third one. But yeah, I can't wait to get get my son's white handled um, yokai. That's that's pretty awesome looking. And I guess that's it. You know, hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the dislike if you hate it. Leave a comment down below if you got in on the damn designs releases. Um, the only one I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll be able to get my hands on the Banshee. That's a that was the fourth model, but yeah. Let me know if you guys got one, and guess hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. You know I got a couple more knives on the way. They're pretty, I think, pretty cool. And yeah, guess till the next video. Bye.